Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and I'm here today to do a review of a, another travel tripod that I think in many ways is the closest competitor that I've seen to the excellent Peak Design travel tripod. There's a lot that I like about the Peak Design. One thing I don't like is the price, about 650 US dollars for the carbon fiber version. This Ulanzi P38 couples almost the same compactness and a lot of the same capabilities and materials in a design that is close to $300 cheaper. And the Ulanzi has a few tricks up its sleeve, though there's one glaring flaw that I'm irked by a little bit. More about this as we dive into the review today. Much like Peak Design, we have a design that comes in a nice zippered couch kind of pouch, kind of a heathered look to it that, again, is very reminiscent of Peak Design. And we have a nice compact tripod, in this case, the carbon fiber version. Carbon fiber version you can get for 369-ish US dollars, and uh, obviously cheaper if you want to go with the aluminum version. But well, you got we have a travel tripod tripod that is very compact in the hand. It's going to be very easy to bring along. It's very lightweight and as you can see is a nice compact size even though we're able to get to a very decent height. So let's take a quick look at how in the compact version it compares to the Peak Design. Now in the tail of the tape, we can see that the Peak Design is slightly uh, shorter, uh, fully retracted than what the Ulanzi is. The Peak Design travel tripod comes in at about 15 and a half inches, um, and that is right over 39 centimeters versus 42 and a half centimeters, or just a little over 16 inches, about 16 and a quarter inches for the Ulanzi. Now, interestingly, uh, Ulanzi has given us a more traditional design here and that these are round legs like you'll typically see on a tripod. Peak Design has a unique shape to the design of their legs and initially I thought that that was part of what allowed them to get so nice and compact in their retracted design. But we can see that Ulanzi really has achieved something similar in their design. Now, as far as the weight goes, the Ulanzi is actually the lighter of the two. It comes in at about 2.4 pounds versus about 2.8 pounds. So right over a kilo, 1.1 kilos, and I think it's about 1.3 kilos for the Peak Design. But what's interesting is that that is flip-flopped when it comes to their load capacity, whereas the Peak Design is rated for around 20 pounds, a little over 9 kilograms, whereas the uh, Ulanzi is rated for 18 kilograms. So basically double the payload of what they say it is rated for. Your mileage is going to vary. I think both of these are stable enough to support most typical camera payloads, but just an interesting statistic when it comes to the tape. You can see also that the length of the two bags is, um, you know, accordingly a little bit longer. The Peak Design really fits really tightly into its bag. They left a little bit more space in the Ulanzi bag. Frankly, probably a little better for it. I find the Peak Design, uh, design or bag is almost too tight for the tripod itself. So while we've seen that the Ulanzi tripod is a little bit longer when fully collapsed, we can also see that it achieves a higher maximum height than what the Peak Design travel tripod does. The Peak Design will get you up to about 152 and a half centimeters, while the Ulanzi will get you up to 159 centimeters. Now, one thing I will point out about that is that while we get a little bit more maximum height here, you can also see that the base is not as wide as what the Peak Designs is. In the tail of the tape, if I measure in between the spread of the two feet here on the Peak Design, I get 39 inches or right under 100 centimeters. If I do the same here with the Ulanzi, I get 32 inches or right over 81 centimeters. That's a pretty significant difference in terms of the spread and again it's why we get slightly more stability with the Peak Design than what we do with the Ulanzi product. So obviously, probably not enough of a difference between the two in those dimensions to really make a meaningful difference for you. So let's talk about the actual design itself. In many ways, as I noted when looking up close, this is a pretty traditional looking kind of tripod design. It's got five different sections on it and uh, locking mechanisms, everything uh, locks in crisp and tight there. I've had no issues with uh, you know losing tension to where anything is not strong. As we can see here, we've got the traditional locks that allow you to 
go into three different positions as far as the leg rotation. And up front, we have a very compact design when it comes to the actual head that is included. We've got a ball head that is here, and it's not quite as revolutionary maybe as the peak design one in that we are able to extend it up with this knob where the center column can move up and down. And then there's another locking knob on the side that allows you to move the ball head around. And like most ball heads, there's a particular position where you can go all the way into a 90 degree vertical position and you can lock it in in any of those. The locking mechanism seems to work well and we have a lot of rigidity there on the ball head itself. It says it will support up to about 38 uh, pounds of payload uh, or around 18 kilos or right around in that vicinity. And so obviously that's a lot of weight and you know a lot of good things there. Now, there's one bad thing, and that is when it comes to a unique locking mechanism for the actual quick release plate. And so traditionally I use the, you know, I use the Peak Design plates and, you know, with most things because they're Arc Swiss compatible, I just keep them on my cameras, I can slide them on and uh, no problem, whatever tripod that I'm using. In this case, I can't. And it's a little bit ironic for a reason I'll get to in just a second. But unfortunately here, although the, the plate designs look very similar to Peak Designs, it's just slightly smaller and it barely fits as it is uh, between the two things. And so let's talk about that irony for a moment because one thing that is unique about Ulanzi is that it does include with the P38, it includes a second center column. And for only 25 bucks, if you're buying it in a package, you can actually get a compact fluid head. And so you can have a setup. It's got a traditional bowl here. So very easy to do a, a switch over. And you can actually have a very inexpensive fluid head if you want a different look like for video, for example. And so you can slide that in and there is a locking mechanism here at the bottom that also doubles as a hook. And as uh, and so that you always have a tool for doing quick release plates or adjustments, and so um, a very clever addition there to make sure that you always have a uh, you know hex key type tool on board, and so you can switch over to that. Now, ironically, the plate that comes with the fluid head is almost identical in size to the Peak Design uh, uh, little like capture plates is what they're called in Peak Design language. But what's interesting here is that this plate doesn't fit either into this design. And so you can go with the, the plate that comes on, you know, that comes with the traditional ball head. That will work fine here because for whatever reason here, we've got a traditional tension knob that allows you to tighten that on and off. And so you have two different sizes of plates here and they're not interchangeable. One is not compatible with the other. It's a little bit of a pain to me and it seems like they could have pretty simply designed a little bit more room in that to where their their traditional uh, heads would work and they're fine. It would help to make it Arca Swiss compatible. So ironically, the fluid head is Arca compatible, but the included ball head is not. So, you know, that's a little bit of a, a criticism there. A quick look at the actual fluid head. I mean, that's a really bargain basement price for uh, something like this. And while it's not heavy duty in the sense that you don't have as much control over tension as you would in a, a you know, a serious dedicated fluid head, I found that it works quite well and it gives me uh, the ability to dial in some various areas of tension to help to balance that. And so that you can then have some nice flexibility for doing video work as well. And so certainly a very, very welcome addition. And of course, if you're not into doing a fluid head and you say, I would never use that. The fact that you have a secondary center column also means that if you happen to hate the particular uh, ball head that's included here, you do have the option to throw a ball head of your choice on there, including one that is Arca Swiss compatible. And uh, in fact, right in their Q&A, they give that as an option on the Ulanzi site. Seems to me a simpler solution would have been to just make this one Arca compatible. But really, that is my only primary complaint here. The ability to get such nice height out of this, the fact that it does fold down so nice and compact, the fact that it is lighter still, even than the peak design, while giving you a nice, sturdy tripod to work from, and of course, the option to have a compact 
travel tripod that is more video dedicated with the fluid head is a really interesting approach. And so I think that Ulanzi is onto something here. And I certainly can understand those that could say, yeah, the Peak Design looks cool, but I don't want to spend that kind of money. This is not inexpensive per se, but at nearly $300 cheaper, it's a whole lot less expensive. And makes the Ulanzi P38 a very interesting travel tripod alternative to the much more expensive Peak Design. I'm Dustin Abbott, and if you look in the description down below, you will find links to where you can get more information. Also, some buying links there if you'd like to purchase for yourself. Beyond that, there's linkage to follow myself or Craig on social media, to become a patron, or to get channel merchandise. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and let the light in.